the roar of an engine split the silence of the sky. It's 1945. The world has just witnessed the most devastating war in history. Propeller aircraft have ruled the sky, but a new era is about to begin. From the first tumbling jet engine of the F-80 shooting star to the stealthy silence of the F-35 Lightning II. This is the story of America's relentless pursuit of air dominance, a journey spanning eight decades, countless war, and a revolution in human engineering. Welcome to the evolution of Su-S fighter jets. When World War II ended, the world military knew whoever mastered jet propulsion would rule the sky. America's answer came in 1945. The Lockheed F-80 shooting star, its silver body slicing through the air at over 600 miles per hour. It was the first operational jet fighter of the United States Air Force, marking the dawn of a new age. Soon came the Republic F-84 Thunder Jet, built for power and range, a symbol of America's growing industrial might. But the real legend of the early jet era was the F-86 Sabre, the aircraft that went head to head with the Soviet MiG-15 in the Korean War. Dogfight between Sabre and MiG defined the 1950, with pilot dancing at the edge of life and death in the world's first jet versus jet battle. The Jet 8 had truly arrived, and the race for speed had only just begun. As the Cold War intensified, America engineers looked beyond sound itself. They wanted to break the very limit of physics to go supersonic. Enter the F-100 Super Sabre, the first U.S. fighter to exceed Mach 1 in level flight. Its needle-nose design and sweet wing representing to complete the thinking of, of aerodynamics. But supersonic was not enough. America needed altitude, endurance, and the ability to strike fast and deep. So came the F-101 Hoodoo, the F-102 Delta Dagger, and the F-106 Delta Dart, sleek interceptors built to destroy Soviet bombers before they reach American soil. Then in 1958 came a masterpiece, the McDonnell Douglas F-4 Panther II, a twin-engine beast that could fly faster than Mach 2, carry more weapons than any jet before it, and dominate the skies of Vietnam. The Panther became a Cold War icon, serving in over a dozen air forces and earning its place as one of the most successful fighter jets in history. By the 1970s, technology was exploding. Computer world anti-cockpit missiles were getting smarter, and stealth was no longer science fiction. America introduced the F-14 Tomcat, a naval monster with variable sweep wings that could fold mid-air for speed or stability. It became immortalized in pop culture by the movie Top Gun, but in reality, it was a technological marvel designed to defend aircraft carriers against Soviet bombers. Next came the F-15 Eagle, a pure air superiority fighter that carried one promise. Not a single F-15 will be lost in aerial combat, and remarkably, the Kurt letter that promise still stands. The Eagle advanced dart twin engine and unmatched thrust-to-weight ratio made it the king of the skies. Then arrived the F-16 Fighting Falcon, smaller, lighter, and cheaper, but agile like no other, designed with a bubble canopy for 360 vision and fly-by-wire control that let pilots push physics to its edge. The F-16 became the backbone of the U.S. Air Force and remain in service to this day. By the end of the Cold War, one idea dominated American defense strategy: flexibility. Why build separate aircraft for every mission when one jet could do it all? Enter the F-A-18 Hornet, capable of both fighter and attack role. It was built for the Navy, powerful enough for dogfight, jet precision enough for bombing runs. 
its twin tail reliable engine and versatility made it a favorite among pilots. The Hornet descended the FA-18E Super Hornet continue to fly from US carrier today, proving that adaptability is the true secret to longevity in modern warfare. Then came a revolution that changed everything stealth. No longer was victory about speed or power alone, it was about being invisible. The F-22 Raptor took to the sky in 2005. A fifth generation fighter capable of super cruise without afterburner, radar, invisibility and beyond visual range skill. It was not just a fighter, it was an apex predator. Even today, no other aircraft on earth can truly rival its combination of speed, stealth and situational awareness. But technology evolved again and the world demanded something more affordable, more versatile that was the F-35 Lightning II was born. Built with three variants of the Air Force, Navy and Marine, it represents the future of global air power. With helmet integrated display, AI assisted targeting and global interoperability, the F-35 is more than a jet, it's a flying data center. A decade after the F-80 first touched the cloud, the legacy continued. Old aircraft like the F-15 EX Eagle II are being reborn with 71st century technology proving that innovation never truly ends. The US is now working on the next generation air dominance program. A stealth fighter so advanced it may never need to be seen to be feared. Rummer suggests it will fly alongside autonomous drones using artificial intelligence to dominate tomorrow's skies. From the thunderous roar of the F-86 to the whispering stealth of the F-35, this evolution tells one through the sky has always been humanity proving ground. Each generation of aircraft was not just metal and fuel. It was ambition, fear and the relentless drive to stay one step ahead. As engines rose into the silence of tomorrow, one truth remained. The sky has always belonged to those who dared to challenge it. From the trembling wings of the F-80 shooting star to the invisible power of the F-35 Lightning II, each generation of American fighters that carried a dream to fly higher, faster and farther than ever before. This is not just a story of machine, it's the story of human ambition, forged in fire, test in war and written forever in the clouds.